It's never too early to prepare for the coming robot apocalypse. Today, we're going to x-ray a Roomba. Stick around. Welcome back. I'm Dr. Josh Jarvis and I'm super excited today because we're going to be starting a series of videos where we x-ray everyday objects for your enjoyment. Now here with me today is Stephanie. She's a radiology tech that's going to be uh, helping us out. Stephanie, on a scale of 1 to 10, how worried are you about robots taking over the world? I'd say a 2. 2. Okay. And how worried are you about a robot taking over your job? Probably a 6. A 6? Oh my. Well, you know, I, I would agree. I, I personally think it's only a matter of time before the inevitable robot uprising. But, you know, I don't think it's going to be rogue military drones or evil AI taking over the power grid. I think it's probably going to start out a lot more gradual. Ultimately, I think it's the vacuums that are going to turn on us. And if humanity has any hope of surviving, we've got to find out how these things tick. Or at least that's the contrived reason I came up with to x-ray Roombas. So, let's go do it. Okay, so here we are in the x-ray room. Uh, Stephanie, can you give us a little bit of a tour? Well, here we have the tube, and this is where the x-rays come out of. And then between the tube and this image receptor here, we have the patient standing. And the x-rays will go through the patient and go to the image receptor, and based on the different densities of the patient, we'll decide what colors show up on the picture. Great. So we basically have two kinds of, of Roombas we're going to x-ray today. This one is just sort of a basic Roomba that we got at Costco, and it generally just wanders around aimlessly and tries to look busy for long enough that uh, we hope that it's cleaned everything. And then we've got this other one that's a little more advanced. Now, this one actually will map out your house and do things in a, in a more systematic uh, manner. So you can see these things, these robots, they're, they're adapting. Um, and one thing I wanted to point out, I don't know if you can see it, right here there's a little, little robotic eye. Now, you can see, like, it's pointing upward. The, the floor's down there, Roomba. What, what are you looking at? Anyway, let's x-ray these things. Well, that worked out pretty well, but I think we need a little more detail. Let's go CT these things. All right, so now we're at the CT scanner, and as you'll recall from my CT video, the CT works by using x-rays to form a 3D representation of the patient or whatever you happen to be scanning. Now we're joined by Michaela. She's our resident CT expert, and she's going to tell us a little bit more about what we're looking at. Okay, so as you can see, this is our CT camera. Um, it goes all the way around to get that 3D image. This is the bed that our patient lies on. It can go back and forth, so we get our patient centered where we need to be. Um, the CT scan takes about 35 to 40 seconds, and it just gives us a better detail than what x-ray would. Great. All right, let's scan some Roombas.
So the CT images turned out pretty well, but I feel like we need to see these things in action. Let's go do some fluoroscopy. So now we're in the fluoroscopy room. For those of you who've seen my fluoroscopy video, you know that fluoroscopy is basically just an x-ray movie that allows us to see things happen in real time. And since we'll be in the room running the camera, we're wearing these lead aprons to protect us from any radiation. Let's watch these Roombas go. Well, I think we have a pretty good handle on the inner workings of the Roomba, but what about all the other robots that pose an overwhelming threat to humanity? Well, before we go, let's take a quick look at some of the most dangerous. So I hope you enjoyed this radiographic survey of our impending robotic doom. Uh, I'd like to thank everyone who helped make this happen, my co-host Stephanie, Michaela, uh, Troy, everyone else. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, but uh, wait a minute. I
I feel like we're missing something. Stephanie, if all these robots rise up and join together, how can humanity ever hope to survive? Well, I guess we'll just have to turn them against each other. Wait, you mean... That's right. Robot fight. <laughs>